Hi guys, uh, this video is actually to help someone on the Playmaker form. So I'll just bring up the question and move my head out of the way. So this person, Shaz Bang, I think that's how you say it, is trying to set up the cube that when they hit something it will speed up, but they can't figure it out and it's probably driving them nuts and they're worried about creating sort of custom actions or writing in say C sharp. So there's a few ways to do this, and I will show you the solution now. So let me just move my head, say, this way, and let's hit play. So first of all, I have three different cubes set up. So I'll hit play, and then I'll, I'll talk with you at the end. So you can see that they move, and then as soon as they hit something, they speed up, and they'll fall off the edge. So the way the first one is set up, is it a simple whoops it's just a simple box collider with a trigger attached and then the first two will use a detect trigger and the last one you've probably seen it it hits the box and it's actually a collision event so depending on which one you're after i'll show you each of those steps so to talk you through the first one is probably the one that you might want to use so in this one what i do is i have one state which is a setup state, so I set my speed. And then what I do is I then come in and change my speed to the float I'm using. So all I'm using is a FSM float. I set the speed to 5. I then come into iTween, set my speed, and then I set my target. Now, the other thing that I forgot to highlight in this post was the person was using iTween move to action. So that's why I'm using it here. So that's that one. It should be noted that if you're using speed, let's see if I can get it up. If you're using speed, um, it ignores the time in iTwin. So you can't use both. It's either one or the other. And the reason for that is the speed is tied into the animation. So if you have animation on your game object. Then I have a second FSM. And this second FSM, it just waits for a trigger enter. And I'm using a collide tag. So if you look at the wall, the wall just has a tag assigned to it. So all you have to do is come down, add tag, and you're good to go. And then it will come in, and it will use a set FSM float to change the speed. And then it will trigger an event. And the event is this one, iTwin speed up. So it will just trigger this to make it reset the iTwin animation. So that's probably the main problem that Shazbang is having, is that you just need to reset the animation, even if you're changing the variables. Remember that the default values are stuck. So if you can imagine you're telling object, so in this case you're telling cube A to move to sphere, sphere A. And what happens is as soon as it goes in to the iTwin move action, it already has all the settings and it's on its way. Then you're trying to change the settings and get it to move. Well, what you probably need to do is you probably just need to update it. So as soon as you update it, the settings will kick in. And if that's enough for you, feel free to stop the video and continue, but I'll show you quickly how to add these up. So I'll just quickly go through the other ones. So the other one is has a setup state, which you probably don't need. You have your iTwin move action, and then you just have the trigger event in the same state, and then that just moves into another state, which just has an increased speed. So instead of using two FSMs, I'm just using one. The last one, instead of using a trigger, just uses a collision. So on this object here, I just have a rigid body, and then there's a rigid body on the on the other cube, and that's what's take, testing the collision event. So we're four minutes in. So let me just quickly load this one up. I pre-made this to save some time. So let's remove this one and let's quickly add this in. So call this moving FSM. Let's call, whoops. All I'm doing is holding down the control key to add these. If you're interested in more sort of Playmaker fundamental basics and Unity, you can check out my online courses. But let me quickly set this up. So let's call this moving. Let's move my head there, out of the way, so we can get access to this. So I train. Two. Not sure one. Okay. Hey, let's just quickly set this up. Let's call this speed. 
set float. Hopefully this isn't going too fast. If it is, just slow down the video or pause it. Let's set the transform destination. So let's click this one. Speed, that looks good. Let's add in a global event. There you go. So again, I'm hoping that you can understand the event. So if not, just quickly look at this. So by doing a slash, you can make categories. And by ticking the box, you make it global. So new FSM, call this one five minutes in. Collision FSM. Call this state listening, because we're going to be waiting to see if we hit anything. And let's do a trigger. It's probably better to call this trigger FSM, because that's what it is. Oops. I'm using the wall tag. So again, I have this set to wall and the trigger box ticked. And this has a rigid body. So I want to send event, custom events, collision, wall hit. Add this in. Connect this up. Set FSM float. Let's use moving one. Let's set the speed. Let's set the speed to 10. Let's change the event to speed up. And let's send event. Drag that in. Set it to self. Right, game object FSM, sorry. Moving and then I tween speed up. So all we're doing is we're filtering and selecting the one we want. Now let's quickly test. So we are in this one. Ah, oh, sorry, this is the wrong one. Don't I look silly? It's I twin move too. I don't know why I move I twin look. But you could see from the previous video that I did actually get it working, so I'm not completely silly. So let's hit this again. It hits and then it speeds up. Yay! One down. Next one. Uh, one move FSM. So again, the reason why I use setup states is in case I need to set up any default variables, I'll just stick them in there and it will save me some time. That way I don't have to mess around with it. I know that if I need to change anything, I just go into my setup state and it will be right there. So I call this walking speed. And we can call this one running. Ooh, ten, eight minutes. Let's try and speed this up. So to speed things up, I'm going to copy this FSM, come in and paste it there because it has all the settings. Change this one. That's using speed. But we want to manually set it to five. It's very Copy this, paste that in, set this to 10. Let's quickly minimize this one. You can go back here, copy this one, paste it into the end. And now if we hit play, hit send the two of them speed up. So again, these are just trigger events and I twin move. And the last one is actually pretty easy because all you need to do is copy this FSM, paste it in because it has all our logic. And this is something I try and teach everybody is that if you learn some, when you learn game mechanics or create game mechanics for your game, you're really just recycling it a lot. So you can see in here just by copying this, all we're doing is getting rid of this trigger event and setting more to collision. So it's going to be the same logic. So now when we hit the wall, the wall will move and then we'll speed up. So same theory for this one. Now it didn't speed up that way because it was going for the previous one. This is probably where you get the most errors and most bugs from copy and paste. So you can see it moves and then it speeds up. 
So hopefully that helps you out. Shaz bang. And if you have any questions, just reply on the Unity forum and let me know. Or on my blog where I'll probably be posting this.